All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. It says, New Nightmare Bacteria Virgin on Untreatable. Now in every U.S. state. Okay? Pestilence, man. Okay? The pestilence is here. Okay? And I'm going to get scriptures on this. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Okay? So these people, they control diseases. Okay? And it's in Atlanta. And they have diseases there. Okay? So they control it. And they also claim that they prevent diseases. Okay? From outbreak how outbreaks happening and everything it says is warning americans about a drug resistant nightmare bacteria some that most likely they created in a lab okay that has spread to every state after more than 200 cases last year more than 20,000 23,000 americans die each year from infections caused by drug resistant germs according to the CDC and last year a first of its kind nationwide study uncovered 221 instances of a rare antibiotic resistant nightmare bacteria it mostly affects people afflicts people either in or visiting hospitals and nursing homes and there's a lot of people out here that like to go to these hospitals Okay, and these nursing homes, especially here in Baltimore. You have a lot of uh, women that are uh, nurses here in Baltimore. Okay, it's the thought, it's thought the number of cases is actually higher as cert only certain labs in each state were involved in the study, explained the CDC in a vital signs report released Tuesday. The health officials warned that the new and highly resistant germs are constantly developing and spreading. <coughs> Essentially, we found nightmare bacteria in your backyard, said Dr. Ann Suchat. Okay. Um, these verge on untreatable infections. Early and aggressive action is key the organizations say to prevent the further spread of the bacteria in an effort to prevent the germs from developing into life-threatening infections a new CDC national lab network has been launched to improve identification of the extreme bacteria across 50 states five large cities in Puerto Rico an early alarm system has also been been put in place for when new cases emerge along with a new national containment plan the CDC recommends the public keep their hands and any cuts on their skin clean stay up to date with vaccinations which that's a fucking lie because they give you give you uh, stuff and inform their doctor if they recently received any health care in, in, in another country didn't they just say that these people were catching it and and uh in the hospitals, but they want you to go in there and get vaccination in, in nursing homes and stuff, man. Okay, the so-called white man is the devil. Okay, so their national containment plan, okay, is uh, it's going to coincide with that RFID chip. Okay, now let me get this scripture. Well, I'm gonna get the definitions for, for pestilence. Okay, let me first start off with the um etymology okay behind the word pestilence from the 13th century okay it says a uh, plague epidemic a plague and unwholesome atmosphere okay and the word whole mean means healthy okay unhealthy atmosphere okay and it's a lot of people coughing and sneezing you know at work 
you know, people going in and out the bathroom don't even, uh, you know, wash their hands and, you know, so on and so forth. But then they want to give you a five, you know, digging up their nose. There's a lot of stuff going on out here, man. You know, it says infected, unwholesome, noxious, deadly disease or plague. Okay. Now, the definition, I'm going to get the Merriam-Webster. Okay. It says uh, a contagious or infectious epidemic disease that is virulent and devastating. Okay. Especially bu bubonic plague. Something that is destructive and pernicious. Okay. And that's what's going to happen, man. Okay. Pretty soon. Some some uh nightmare bacteria is really going to happen, man. It could be this. Okay? It could be this, and it's going to start killing people by the boatloads. Okay? This is uh Ezekiel 5 and 11. Wherefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, surely because thou hast defiled my sanctuary with all thy detestable things and with all your abominations, therefore will I diminish you. Neither shall my eye spare you, neither will I have any pity. A third part of you shall die with the pestilence. Okay? The word pestilence. The, the bar. Okay, pestilence, plague, murrain, cattle disease, cattle plague. Okay? Slack you. So, um, continuing on, the scripture pop up. Uh, it says, a third part of you shall die with the pestilence. So this is one of the the ways that the Lord has set up to destroy our people for all their abominations. Okay. It says, um, and with famine, so they be consumed in the midst of you. And a third part shall fall by the sword round about you. And I will scatter a third part into all the winds and I will draw out a sword after them. So people will try to run from this. They still gonna get caught up, okay? And that sword is going, uh, going to going to destroy them, man. Okay, them thermonuclear missiles. Okay, it says, um, that does so my anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted, and they shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal when I have accomplished my my fury in them. Okay, because you got people out here that they just don't respect the Lord. Okay, they have no knowledge as far as Israel go. Okay, moreover, I will make you a waste and re reproach among the nations that are round about you in the sight of all that pass by. Okay, so a lot of you Jakes, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all going to be getting destroyed. And these other nations are going to, you know, they're going to see it too, man. You know, it says so. It shall be a reproach and a taunt and an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about you when I shall execute judgments in you in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. I, the Lord, have spoken it. So when you see a lot of people out here dying by the boatloads, that's the Lord doing that, man. Okay? When I shall send out, I mean, send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction. In which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. It says, so will I send upon you famine and evil beasts. Okay? You, you, that, that cat, that alley cat, you know he ain't going to have no food. He's going to start attacking people, man. Okay? Them squirrels going to hop out the tree and start, start attacking people, man. Okay? You're going to have a lot of animals that are in, um, in the zoo coming at the people, okay? And they shall bereave you 
and pestilence and blood shall pass through you. Okay, and that pestilence, once again, that um, nightmare bacteria is going to pass through our people, man. And I will bring this war upon you. I, the Lord, have spoken it. Okay? Now, the scriptures go into this. Okay? Re Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou has kept the word of my patience, I will keep you from the hour of temptation. Okay? And this hour of temptation is about to come. Dip different people are going to have to go through different things. Okay? And, and, and at the end of the day, the so-called white man is going to put it out there like that in order to get the cure for this uh for this disease or to get to get some food or whatever you gotta take this chip okay the rfid chip the mark of the beast it says which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth right now let me get this scripture because if you keep the word and you do what the lord say he's going he's going to deliver you from that man okay Psalm 91 and 1. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So, this is a secret place, man, because the world don't know, okay, what's coming coming to them, man. Okay? So, so we, we're going to be protected from the Lord. It says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. And from the noisome pestilence. Okay, you might have a lot of people, you know, keep on, you know, they they, they can't they, they can't stop uh um crying or whatever the case may be, man. You know, a lot of coughing or I don't know how what what type of uh bacteria the so called white man got out for for, for uh for people, you know. But it's gonna be something that's really uh, bugging, okay, and a lot of people, you know, um, not going to know what to do, man, okay, might end up just, just passing out, you know, eyes might be, you know, bloodshot red, you know, coughing, you know, people wearing, uh, um, face mask and stuff, man, it says, he shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust the, his truth, shall be your seal and buckler, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. Okay? And that that uh that darkness is them putting it out there that there's no cure. Okay? When these people out here they, you know, it could be some shit from McDonald's or some shit, you know, some fast food restaurant, you know, and they don't know, uh, uh, oh, it could be some shit from, from pork, you know, and, and, um, they don't know that, you know, the dietary laws speak against that stuff, man, you know, it could just be the, the Lord just, you know, wanting to get rid of grimy people, you know. But the fact is that the elect is going, going to have that, that knowledge of uh, how to deal with that. You know? How, to, how the Lord And the Lord is going to protect them. You know? You going you can just build up your immune system. You know? For that for that time. Because what? When, when that shit happened, you know, when... when um, when when America starts crashing, a lot of people they ain't gonna know how to handle this stuff, man. You know, the dollar bill crash. A lot of people, you know, their their hopes and dreams they might end up dying a couple of days later, man, because they 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 um they they lost their hope. You know, some somebody end up getting sick. You know, or the, or the doctor tell them, hey, you're sick. You know, you have this disease that you can't get get cured from. A lot of people are going to start dying because they actually feel like that disease can't be cured. But here go what the scriptures say, Proverbs 18 and 14. The spirit of a man will sustain him, his infirmity. Okay? But a wounded spirit, who can bear? So so when a doctor tell you, hey, you sick, you know, he just wounded your spirit, 
And then that, that disease, that nightmare bacteria, just start getting to you. And you don't know how to fucking handle it. You know? But but for the elect, when they see that these things happen, you know, we know that, Lord willing, I'm a part of the elect. We know that, you know, Yahweh Shah is right around the corner, man. You know? So it's like, fuck, fuck whatever we go through, you know? Might even get caught up in, in you know, catching the shit. But but the, your spirit is going to be able to sustain that. And it's going to be like you wasn't even sick in the first place, man. You know? Like it was just some bullshit. You know, you you, you end up getting sick, but then all of a sudden, you know, the, the Lord sends, you know, one of his men, you know, who got the cure. You know? Because you ain't take that chip and you have faith in, in Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. You know? So so the spirit that, that the Lord has in, in his men, you know, you might you're going you're going to get tested, man. You know? But but we we through the spirit, you know, we know whether we gotta deal with this stuff or not, that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah gonna protect us, man. He's our refuge and our fortress. But for for the ones who who who, who don't know. Okay, it says a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. So, so we know that the ones who don't know, they're going to die by the boatloads, man. Okay. Okay, it says only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked because these people don't know or respect Yahweh Basim Yahweh man. Okay. So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom to him next time.